Hey everybody, this is a breakdown of what's happening for the Diablo 4 Early Access Beta. We're going to go through the guide, read through and see what we can expect uh, for some fun weekend play. I'm going to be live Friday morning, 9 o'clock Pacific Time, right when it drops. And you know Blizzard, so it's probably not going to be ready <laughs> by that time. We'll see how the servers hold. But either way, we're going to play some Diablo 4 tomorrow. I have not gone through this guide yet. This is the first time. Uh, attention, this blog was updated on March 13th with additional information. An upcoming community play live stream, a little red font text. Sign signif signifies new information. Let's use our words. All right, uh, coming out for Windows PC, Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, PlayStation 5, and PlayStation 4. What? Old gen. S is kind of almost old gen. Uh, we need to get next gen now. It's now gen. Open beta focus. Look at that. <whistles> that looks nice. That looks nice. That looks nice. Um, during both the open beta and early access weekends, intimately explore the early game of Diablo 4. Intimately. First taste of the campaign being the prologue and the entirety of Act 1. I'm guessing there's going to be four acts, hopefully, maybe five. So prologue and Act 1 in its entirety. The first zone, Fractured Peaks, is yours to navigate as you please. Stampede through the rugged landscape and cut down demons. Kind of similar to Diablo 3, where you could play through a lot of Act 1. A uh, character can only level up to level 25. That's fine. But you're welcome to continue, continue ripping through demons until the open beta ends. Make your mark in Sanctuary by clearing hellish hordes from dungeons. Competing in treating quests provided by the locals and amassing powerful loot from fallen foes. Classic Diablo, all right? This is your opportunity to combat the Mind of the Burning Hells prior to our June 6th release, which seems so far yet so close. It's not finalized. There will be performance issues, possibly outages, etc., 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 and then you can add some feedback after it's over. Small taste of what Diablo 4 has to offer. Uh, we pre-purchased pre it. This is when it comes out for early access, March 17th, 9 a.m. Pacific time. That'll go over the weekend. And then open beta for everybody is March 24th at 9 p.m. That's the following Friday. If we've already done early access, then probably not going to do the beta the next weekend unless there's a specific class that we want to really play and check out. Um, the ability to early download the game will become available. I've already downloaded it. Assume your role. Who do we got? I forget which roles are available. Necromancer, I, I remember that trailer. I super like that one. But I forget who else. Who else? Uh, players will have access to three classes. Okay, that limits it. Assume the role of the battle-bred barbarian, nimble rogue, or elementally tuned sorcerer. We're doing sorcerer. All right, we're doing sorcerer. But it'd be cool to do other playthroughs with the other characters and get them to level 25, right? Why not? Once the open beta weekend comes around, the... Earth and Druid and Undead wielding Necromancer classes can be played in addition to the original three. All right, that just answers my question. We're playing that day as well, but it's the same day that Resident Evil 4 comes out. It's going to be tough. We're doing Resident Evil 4 probably. Um, maximum of 10 characters can be made per battle net account. After reaching level 25 with one character, we recommend you try repelling demonic cords with additional classes to find your favorite. Smart. All progress will transfer from early access to open beta weekends. All characters made during these weekends will be deleted once the beta ends. All right, so it'll carry over from beta to beta, but starting from scratch when the game comes out. I like that. That's how it should be. It should be clean slate for everybody. So we have co-op. Ooh, barbarian, sorcerer, rogue. Dig it. It's a great piece of art. It's a wonderful piece of art. We're going to screenshot that. <gasps> Booyah. Booyah. Um... On all consoles that support Diablo 4, via couch co-op, players can enlist a second Demon Slayer to combat the ranks of Hell screen by screen. That's awesome. I'm going to play on PC because I'm used to playing Diablo on PC, but it is really good on controller. To play using couch co-op during the early access, only one player will be required to have official access. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. A second player will need to have their battle net and console-specific accounts links. Got it. Strength of the Burning Hells knows no bounds, but you can even the odds by rallying a party of Demon Destroyers with your online four-player four player co-op. Play this way during the early access weekend. All players, excluding those via couch co-op, will be required to have official access to the experience. Okay. Note that vanquishing demons while near any player will grant you 5% bonus experience and 10% if you are near a member of your party. All right, so that's the party up. Discover Fractured Peaks. Okay. Fractured Peaks is home to craggy steps and snow-laden pathways, creating an unforgiving landscape rife with demons to slay and discover. So this is area one. Um, so you got to beat the prologue and then Fractured Peaks. Fractured Plains will be yours to explore. Do, 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 do. Call out a few activities of interest. Nestled among the mountains is a city. Kai, Kai Ovashad. That's my first attempt. Kai Ovashad, a safe zone where you can repair and purchase new gear, upgrade your health potion, access the stash, and much more. Think of the city as a base of operations between excursions into the frigid, frigid expanse of the zone. All right, here's some stick figures. <laughs> That's what it looks like. 
Main quest line Diablo 4 is rich and consists of multiple acts. Main storyline markers on your map. Okay. The Pursuit of Lilith. Numerous side quests. Um, there's a town called Neves. Check out the Woodsman of Neves side quest in one of the nearby altars of Lilith. Created by Lilith's first children. Now remember, it's demons and angels that come together. That's what makes humans. Or the Nephilim. That's the lore of Diablo. I read all the books, Chad. I read all the Diablo books. I could have made something better. <laughs> but it's actually pretty cool. It's a neat, it's a neat take on old ancient codifications of demons and stuff. Anyways, created by Lilith's first children. These altars are spread throughout Sanctuary. Finding them provides a permanent boost to the core stats of all characters on the Eternal Realm. So find these altars, get boosted. Got it. Uh, World and Legion events. World events are small experiences that are random. Do things such as escorting a lost soul to its loved one or satiate the hunger of bloodthirsty obelisks. Damn. World events can usually be completed within a couple of minutes and are completely optional, but they always provide a reward for your heroics. There are many world events for you to discover during the open beta. Try to complete them with other players too. The Legion events are longer. Meant to challenge you. Okay. You Got to prepare. Overcome hordes of demons before entering. And if you're able, take them on with eight of other players. They'll be marked in your map, but sometimes revealed after conquering a stronghold. Okay. With risk comes reward. Complete a Legion event and you'll be rewarded handsomely for prevailing. These events are optional, can be completed more than once. Dungeons are a cornerstone of the Diablo universe. Dungeon Diablo 4 and this open beta have no shortage of dungeons. That's what we want. That's where the loot is. They'll have recommended levels to complete displayed on the map. Tight, tense instances where determination and skill will guide you to victory over whatever hell you discover within. Cool. Dungeons are a great place to put your skills to the test while also racking up useful gear for even more threatening encounters such as world bosses. Com combat massive world bosses. Whew. That's a big boss. All right. Um, Daring Wanderers seek ch sizable challenge. Ashava, Whir Whirlwind of Pestilence. So it's probably walking around. Numerous sightings that you can check out from different people, journal entries. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, this is a big demon. Um, a <laughs> portion of the page that said how to weaken it has been ripped away. So come prepare for an intense fight and recruit your friends and other players to pursue the ultimate glory of conquering one of the burning hell's most heinous creations to date should you find a path to victory a sizable loot drop awaits. Here's when you'll have an opportunity to combat a Shava during the open beta early access weekends. Oh, it gives you a time. So March 18th, 10 a.m., 12 p.m., 10 p.m., and midnight. And the 25th, 10 a.m., 12 p.m., 10 p.m., and midnight. That's cool. So it gives you a time and a place in order to take him down. And then you get this nice little wolf. Season of the Wolf, I believe. If you get to level 25, yeah, you got to get rewards. As you play Diablo 4 during the open beta and early access weekend, showcase your Wanderer's prowess by collecting all three open beta rewards. Players who unlock these rewards will receive them once Diablo 4 launches. Initial casualty earned by reaching Kyle Vashad with one character. Early Voyager earned by reaching level 20 on one character. Beta Wolf Pack cosmetic item earned by reaching level 20 on one character. All right, cool. And then here's the PC specs. Uh, doable. <laughs> SSD with 45 gigs. Okay, no problem. Broadband, yes, got it. Good, good to go. Recommended, though. Got it, got it. I got a GTX. I forget which number, but I have one. Um, got it, got it, got it, got it. Cool. And then early downloads available. Diablo 4 forums. Code redemption. And then here's the live stream. So this is on March 24th. Tyrael. Tyrael looks great. At 11 p.m. Pacific time. So that's next week. All right. Cool. Okay, everybody. So there's a breakdown of what's going to be happening for Diablo 4, the beta. I will be live 9 a.m. on the day, the 17th Pacific time. So hopefully the servers are working and we'll have some fun. Let me know in the comments below. What are you most excited for about Diablo 4. Is there anything specific in the beta you want me to check out? Should we do all three classes? Love to hear your thoughts. It's YouTube. You know what to do. Like and subscribe. I'll see you online.